Okay, guys. So, something I just learned today. What I've been trying to do is animate certain parts of my Shopify themes that I'm making for people without me having to hard code everything because hard coding is a lot of work and it's a lot of code. So, I wanted to do something really quick and I found this site, Animate dot style and basically on the right hand side you see all of these different animations so you could click it and you see what it does fade out these are all looking the same let's do this one flip all these different ones bounce okay so then basically what you do you would scroll down you would copy this where it says head you would copy this right and then you would go into your Shopify store and you would click on theme.liquid and then I put it in here already at line 11 you would go right in between head and I just put it with the other links so you see I put it right here on 11 I always put a comment let's put this wrong I always put a comment so that I know exactly what it is and then me so that I know exactly what it is that I did so I commented out what I want this what this line means so that I know for future that this is something that I added and I added animate.css as the website link to the head so that I can animate and it's not in theme.css so I'll show you where that is in a second so you'll paste that link right in here underneath the head right any way you prefer but to keep it consistent I'll keep it with the links the other links right let me space this in a little bit okay and then what you want to do you're gonna scroll down well you can do something easier go to search you type in CSS and you're gonna look for so depending on what you want to animate right i want to animate the text in in my um hero banner so you're going to go to section and you're going to look for image banner so when you're on your chrome browser on your computer you will right click and then you would click on inspect And then you will click this arrow over here to the left so that you can be able to select the element. And if I know I want to animate this, I'm going to click it. And you see it says span, but span is pretty generic for like any type of heading usually. That's what it looks like, how um, Shopify is using it. So within this span above it, you see the class is called banner heading. Um, dot ho is a reference to something else, but the name of this header section, um, the class is given as banner slash heading. So you will copy this and then you would go and you're going to paste in this code. So animate CSS, you're going to grab the animation that you want. So I'm going to grab something dramatic so you can see the difference and to copy that. Once you have the name of the element that you want to um, animate, you're going to come here to the area that you want. So it's going to be in section image banner. So in the a previous video where I learned this, it was in theme.css, but this is the, that was the old way. You're going to click on section image banner because image banner is the name of usually the header that you have on your store. And you're going to go right before the media query. And you're going to paste the animation here. So from line 11 to line 15, I pasted the animation. So anything that you see below the media query, that's going to be for different screen sizes. So you do not want to put your animation in any of those media queries. You want it to be above the media query so that it affects the page on no matter the size. So put it above the media query. And then you're going to hit save, right? Then you're going to preview and you see big god energy comes up that's the animation that i chose initially um before i did the video i didn't just paste a new one so now let me go back to the shopify um 
store and when you are going to customize you see all of these over here image banner this is a section image banner image with text is a section rich text is a section so when you're editing your code you have to just pay attention to the you know this is the this area right here let me select it with this this area right here image banner you know this is the image banner section so you keep that in mind when you're looking for things you click this that's a heading heading but in um when you're inspecting they have different names so when you go back to edit your code right edit code it's loading and then you're gonna go scroll down I just want to search for it again I'm gonna delete that big C CSS so you see cart items card component but see image with text is a component for some reason it's not a section so if you wanted to edit the image with text and make that animated then you would come in here with the 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 element that you want to animate so if it's a heading you will grab the name of the heading and you will come in to component image with text and you will paste it before the um, number nine before the media query so like I said each one of them has um, the name so where we were is section and then you're gonna look for image banner so you might not necessarily know whether it's in a component or a section but as long as you know the name of the area you're wanting to edit image banner image with text the search um, multi column is a section as long as you know you know where you're trying to edit text at to animate it then you should be able to find it and each time you know to put it before the media query so I just wanted to show you a quick little tutorial on how to and animate things so when you load your site there you go. So I'm going to continue animating a few more of these text images and that'll be all. If this is too complex for you, you can just purchase an animated theme for me by clicking the link down below.